On, on behalf of the Tavini Multiracial Land uh, Purchase Cooperative uh, Society Limited, I take this opportunity to warmly welcome you all here today for this special get together. Madam, we sincerely extend our hearty thanks to you for sparing your valuable time to meet us and to discuss some uh, uh, development that we would be promoting, not only for this area, but for the Tavuni at large. Cooperative had uh, uh, requested, or in, in fact they had, they had put three things on the, on the table, and these were, crematorium was one, second was diversion of the road, and third was uh, market and bus stand area, uh, because they also want to develop this town. Um, so I had, uh, I had made it known to them that uh, for crematorium, what would be the process and how uh, we will be approaching the Ministry of Economy for the next budget cycle. In 2019, I visited Tavini, and during our meetings with the community members, they raised a concern regarding a um, couple of things. For example, they did talk about not having a crematorium on the island. There's not a single crematorium. And uh, the issue they were facing uh, was during ra rainy season. So when it rains, uh, the danger was that uh, the body they were trying to cremate it will not be fully burnt because of the rain. So I understood where they were coming from. So from that time, we were identifying uh, land. Uh, if, if the community can work together and provide a land, then obviously we can put a proposal to get the crematorium done. Now today, uh, as you have seen, the offer has been made. Um, there is a cooperative here who are willing to give a piece of land for, for, for the crematorium. And what they need is $50,000 to build a simple crematorium. So um, I will be taking uh, the proposal and uh, I will be contacting the uh, Ministry of Economy and probably in the next budget cycle, we'll be putting this proposal in so that the people of Tavini will have at least one crematorium. Um, your second request was uh, more to do with the road that you have suggested, if the road can be uh, built across the subdivision uh, rather than along the coastal area. Your argument is solid because you are, we're talking about climate change and we really don't know uh, what would be the impact in the next 10, 15 years. We know the impact, it's not going to get better, it's going to get worse, but how worse will it be is something we don't know. So we, we, we can um, uh, look into that, but of course feasibility study needs to be done. and. Um, I'm not the minister responsible for, for roads. The least I can do is bring this to the attention of uh, the chairperson uh, for Fiji Roads Authority, because Fiji Roads Authority is a statutory body. It's not, a, it's not an arm of a government. It's not a ministry. So we can, uh, I can put this request to the uh, chairperson of uh, Fiji Roads Authority, and they would be in a better position to decide uh, the proposal that you are putting on the table, whether that is the way forward or not. And obviously, as I mentioned, they have to carry out a feasibility study and so forth. For FRA, they have already put their scheme plan and they've made the request to FRA. So Town and Country Planning uh, team were with me today, so they, are, they will be working with FRA to see how we can uh, uh, accept the proposal and move forward. For the third one, which is um, uh, setting up a market and bus stand and all that, that is not possible because we've already identified the land in Nangara. Uh, what we can do here is because government's policy is decentralizing market, so which means there is uh, an opportunity for us to build a smaller market uh, for this community only. So once they develop this area, uh, the local government, in this case is Savo Savo Town Council, they'll be happy to build uh, a small uh, market for the community of, uh, uh, you know, for the residential houses that are around this place. Tavini is a beautiful island. It's the 
third biggest island that we have. And Tavini offers a lot of potential. Unfortunately, we don't have the right infrastructure. That is why uh, people are not coming into Tavini uh, to, to provide the services that you need. For example, having a pharmacy or having a medical facility which is privately owned or having a dental facility which is privately owned and, and all other facilities that is generally uh, required when, when a town starts developing. But uh, I'm sure with our project taking off and uh, your project as well and few other projects that is planned for Tavini by the private sector, that will create um, a lot of hype in the town and that will certainly build confidence uh, in the people of uh, Tavuni, people who reside here. And they, we will see a lot more investment uh, taking place uh, on this island. What we all know that uh, there are quite rich people living on the island of Tavuni. And they have been making the money in Tavini and taking the money out of Tavini and investing either in uh, Western Division, Central Division, Northern Division. But the investment is not taking place on the island. So the cooperatives, when they came up with their proposal to develop uh, their, their land, freehold land which they own, uh, that, is, that, that is what we need for Tavini. Because once we have commercial and residential land available, um, uh, then we'll be able to attract other service providers. Because Tavini, um, if, 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 if one looks at the population of Tavini, there are 16,000 people living on the island. 16,000 people, they need medical attention, they need to buy medicine, but we don't have a single doctor, private doctor, or private pharmacy. So there is a lot of opportunity on Tavini. It's just a matter of some of the projects taking off, building confidence, and then the investment will start. So thank you for inviting us and thank you for sharing your project with us. It's good to know who is doing what so that uh, the development does not take place in a haphazard manner. Uh, I'm sure all the development application will go through town and country planning. Um, and town and country planning now needs to finalize their proper uh, scheme plan uh, so that uh, each and every developer knows what they can do on a particular land. And I look forward uh, to further development of uh, Tavini, Vinaka. <laughs>